Illustrator CS5 is a whole new great tool set around perspective drawing. To show that, I've got this really interesting city scene created in a fairly extreme perspective, all in Illustrator and all in vectors. If I zoom in, you'll see there's lots of interesting details going on in here. Instead of showing you how the features work in this uh, scene, which is fairly complex, I'm going to switch to a slightly simpler version of it where we just have part of the scene created and show how you can both draw directly into perspective using the perspective grid and also how you can transform existing art into perspective. So over on the toolbar there are two new tools here, the perspective grid tool and the perspective selection tool. I'm going to pull those back both out so they become accessible. And you see because I selected the perspective grid tool my current grid becomes visible. Now this grid is completely customizable. You can move it and position it however you want, one, two, or three point perspective. But I'm just going to start with this grid and show that you can actually draw directly in perspective using the normal drawing tools. This widget up here called the perspective widget allows me to select the currently active plane that I want to draw on. So what I want to do is I want to draw an additional star to go up here on this billboard. I'll select the left plane to correspond to the position of the billboard pick my star tool and go up here and just draw. And as I do, you see that the star automatically transforms into perspective. I'll give it a color to go with that billboard, maybe uh, this kind of yellow here. And then I can switch to the perspective selection tool. The perspective selection tool allows me to take the any art artwork that's drawn in perspective and drag it and as I do it actually transforms and maintains the perspective. So if I drag it towards the vanishing point it gets smaller, away from the vanishing point it gets bigger, position that where I want and it even can be used for duplicating artwork. So if I option drag it will transform in perspective or if I do a command D to transform again and again it will transform in perspective as well. Let me undo a couple of those. So I've got my star created on the billboard here. The other thing I want to do is I want to add a couple of windows onto this side of the building. I've got some existing flat artwork that's created over here. I want to pick one of these windows where it's uh, partially open. And I'm going to switch to the right plane and put a couple of these windows positioned over here on the building. So I can simply take the perspective selection tool, pick this flat artwork, drag it into place, and drop it onto the grid. And now I've got a window drawn in perspective. I could take that, select it, duplicate it, and drag it, and get an additional example of that. There's a whole host of features here that you can use to create anything from very simple artwork, uh, even abstract artwork, to fairly realistic perspective drawings and technical drawings. What I just showed you is really just the surface of a rich new feature area, but I hope that gives you a taste of perspective drawing in Illustrator CS5.